Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and if you've been following my channel you will know that I've been trying out this new Montmartre pouring acrylic paint stuff and it sells on its own. You don't really need silicon um, but they have put out a silicon oil and hey I bought it I thought I'll try it see what it's like. Um, most of you know that I normally use Durex Play Perfect Glide, which is 100% Dimethicone, personal lubricant. Um, and, hey, willing to try new things. So, I had a request from Laura, and Laura was asking if I could do a, um, a red, silver, and white pour. Now, yes, yes I can. She didn't want any black or any blue, no dark colours I'm guessing. She just wanted to see what would happen if we did it like that. So, we're going to do that. And I'm going to put, she also asked if I could do a kiss pour and I really don't, I don't get how you could do a kiss pour with only three colors I suppose you could do just white or just one of the colors and one and I don't know anyway I'm not going to do a kiss pour I'm going to do a flip cup and ugh, I didn't check the consistency of my paint I'll be right back okay let's try that again um so I'm just going to mix the um the silicon into the red uh, so let's put a dollop of the red paint in this container and put the lid back on that and I'm just going to put two drips of silicon in there one two got a very controllable nozzle on this thing which is quite handy Pop that there and stir that in. Now, some of you will have seen my video where I point out don't stir your silicon in too much, or you, it just mixes into the paint and then doesn't do the job. I was going to do a pour, but I think I might do a flip cut with this because if it Mm. Yes, no. Pour. Flip cup. Flip cup slider. Need another. I need another tuna tin that doesn't have the squeeze. <laughs> so, let's start with some white. Then some red. Now remember, this is my Reeves Fine Artist Acrylic. This is not the Montmartre paint, and the reason, and this has all been mixed with um, Floetrol and water. And um, the reason I am using that is so that we can kind of get a comparison. As to if I did it in the Montmartre paint, you can't tell what's what cells are created by the paint and what's created by the just a little bit more silver. All right, and I'm gonna flip it. Flip, flip, flip. Ready? Three, two, one. So this is an 8 by 10 canvas. Let's see. 3, 2, 1. Whoop. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. I know it's pink. But it's pretty. 
I've always been drawn to this crimson red and I wonder whether I've been lying to myself all these time years. Look at that in the bottom. Where I actually do like pink. Well, we're definitely getting silicon cells showing up without doing anything, which is a good sign. Let's just scrape out this pot. And just if you've got extras in your in your tin, you may as well scrape it out onto the corners and then it makes the whole flow process a lot easier to get the paint to actually go over the corners. Okay, so let's quite a bit of air bubbly type popping. You can tell the difference between air bubble pops and silicon rising because the silicon ones keep growing and the air bubbles just will sit there going, hi. See, look at all this. Remember, we only put the silicon in the red. It's a crimson red. It's a bright pinky red. Well, we've definitely got cells. What do you reckon? And they're stretching nicely. I've got a lot of paint on here, so I don't mind pouring some of it off. Because I'm going to lose some of those cells. See if we can get any more cells through in here before I do my final tilt. This silver seems to hold air bubbles like it's going out of fashion. Don't get your um torch too close otherwise you cook the paint Well, I'm quite pleased with that. What do you guys reckon? Um, the link will be in the description below if you want to buy some of the silicon. Definitely seems to do the job. Just checking all my corners. I covered. Yep. Got some pretty vibrant stuff down here, so we might do some dipping. But let me get you down and show you what we've got. Okay. So first of all, I want you to say hello to my little ghosty friend. Look at him. Hello. Ooh. <laughs> so 
So we've definitely got some cells happening in here. Even when it's not very clearly obvious that there was red in there, we've definitely got silicon rising up through multiple layers of paint. Look, still more air bubbles. Look at those. I love those ones. Come on, stay still hand. They're cool. And we've got big ones. Really big ones. Oh, crikey, why is my hand shaking so much? I like that. That's funky. Looks like a pink egg. Now, when I got close with the um, with the torch, I got these little clusters, and um, there's another artist on face uh, on YouTube who I think her name is Gilly, and she calls them Gilly clusters. I think her granddaughter named them that. Which I think is really cool. Might be Jilly. I'm pretty sure it's a G. Now, what did I notice in here? I noticed some cracking going on. Now, that may be that I heated the paint too much. Can you see this irregular, weird thing happening um it's happened over here as well could be that i heated the paint too much but we'll see how it dries whether this oil and this paint the flow troll play nicely see it's kind of happened here too it's not usual to get square edges like that pointy corners um so what do you reckon being a non-pink girl <laughs> this is looking pretty intense i think i might go in here that's quite funky so sure about the rest of it let's move this out of the way let's see what's happening on the other side see you on the other side looks candy cane-ish No, I'm just going to do this one over here. But I need two hands for that. So, I'll be right back. Okay. So, for those of you that haven't seen me do this before, I have my glass cabochon, flat side out, rounded side to the blue tack on a stick, just so I can hold it and keep my fingers out of the way. And if you haven't seen me do this before and you're looking for links, there's a link to both a video describing what I do with them once I've dipped them and dried them, um, as well as where to find them on Amazon. And you just dip it in the paint like that. Grab it by the edges. And admire your handiwork. It's quite funky. We'll see how that dries. That's for sure. Alright. So, is there anything else that's screaming at me? 
Michelle, pick me. No, not really. Okay, guys, I'm going to let all of that dry and come back to you to show you the dry result in three, two, one. All right, so it's dried and it, yes, it went very pink. Very, very pink. But hey, you know, that's what happens when you use crimson and mix it with white. So there we go. My uh, request from a comment on one of the other videos. Um, silver is silver. The red is pink. <laughs> uh, and it looks great. I like it. It's fun. It's funky. And uh, how's it get any better than that? Well, how it gets better is check out this. Woohoo! Wow, that that's fun. It's got it's got rounds, it's got pointies, it's got all sorts. Oh, trying to zoom in while not getting the shadow over it. And then I poured on a stone. I can't remember whether I showed you that um, in the video. But there you go. Just, oh no, I didn't pour on it. I dipped, dipped the stone in the leftovers, that's right. So they came out well. I like them. This came out well, and I like that. How's it getting any better? What else can I create? <laughs> so guys, um, I love hearing from you in the comments. I love um, seeing it when you share my videos around on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and stuff like that. It's so exciting. Please tag me. Um, I would love to, to know more when you guys are sharing it so that I can like it and show my gratitude. And if you want to come and join us on the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group, please do. And what else is possible? How much more fun can we have together? I adore you all and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.